Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honot Duck and we are playing Stellaris version 2.2 with the new Mega Cool DLC. Welcome back to our Cult of Draco um, playthrough. I am so sorry, I actually had pre-recorded uh, two episodes before I started the Charity MP, but I did not manage to upload them. I apologize for that. And then I had that 24 hour event uh, where I did not have time for anything. I've slept now, I am kind of recovered, though still sleepy. We managed to raise an amazing $2,557 for the Macmillan Cancer Support Foundation. Really happy about my community, all the players that took part and also all the viewers. Let me know if you actually watched the event, uh, if you even donated. Um, but yeah, we're gonna return to this, and one of the things that I've that I've uh, thought about quite a bit, because episode four is like the last one that I recorded before I did the event. You just uh, gonna see that right now. Um, we have a bit of a problem with a bugged sector over here. So we have like this colony and this colony, and it isn't really working. It doesn't really let me like assign a governor, even though we have a second governor. That is, yeah, that is a bit of a problem, and I think I've just rectified, I'm just going to rectify that by actually pulling the pops off the planets here, and just giving up that colony for now. Now, we are building something here, so I'm just going to stop that. Um, we'll just get these resources back, I think. Um, this is just like a free building that you get whenever you colonize. Now, it would have obviously been nicer to just keep that one, because it is a planet that we can use mm. but what can you do such as life and that is also in the nature of like these early versions sometimes you encounter a bug and then you have to deal with it so what we're gonna do is here um, I would have probably had to give up this planet in any case because I cannot have anyone working here because these guys can only be slaves and I don't want to give them any rights so this is fine with high quality minerals. I'm not even sure if I want to keep that one. So what we'll do is we'll actually resettle everyone off here and off the other planet. Now this one, I will pay the cost. Um, so resettling these guys, uh, we're going to resettle them to Draconia. Um, I can live with that. So that's that. But I will also have to uh, resettle everyone on Cthulhu Um and that is something that is not my fault. I was originally wanting to like grow that planet. So we're just going to see how much we have to spend. So those three slaves are 150. And then we have 100, 200, and two times 150. So we have 300, 400, 500, um, 650. So what I'll do is I'm actually going to open the console. And we're going to go energy 650 uh, we're gonna add exactly what we're gonna need to just pull the people off this planet because uh, then we can resettle it again at some point and maybe like get a functioning sector so with that Cthulhu Targon is gone this should now also go away I hope I ideally hope that we we're gonna lose this unusable sector here um, do something else I will probably actually colonize this Gaia world here as my first world then and we'll just uh, okay yeah okay that, that sector is gone now uh, very good we have still like a 50% habitability tundra world over here that we can settle if we want to um, that's all good we have a bunch of population on our Capital world now, um, being governed by Rainbow Reaper. Let's go ahead. Let's repair that corporate culture site, um, which fell into disrepair due to my actions. And then I think we also have to just like plop down a generator district, I guess, um, and maybe an agriculture district. Why did I did I not? Okay, yeah. Well, that, that's fine. We're gonna just do this um, so that's looking good I feel like our our uh, capital actually needs like a bunch of these generator districts um, I don't have the minerals for it right now but we'll get there all in all this is still a good war um, we don't have that planet now um, and I do want to attack them we're gonna pull our fleets together uh, all of them together 
into the Boston system. So we should have that one coming in from the Thandra. These two we can already merge into one. Um, we have one of our science ships out here just surveying the area. And I think long term we're just going to try to maybe take Luthandra from them. What kind of planet is that um, in here? I think that's a desert planet. So that's actually not too interesting for us. And then what they have over here is also a savanna. Uh, I think we might just make them into a vessel, honestly. I mean, I could have probably made a vessel out of this uh, here, but I think you do that via the sector view now, and that is, is kind of unusable. Um, so we'll solve that problem. We have a bunch of uh, people who have no work. Um, yeah. So we have miners, we have technicians, we have two unemployed draconians. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And so we'll, we'll just move on now. Complete. We got this system for our first colony. And this has some moat harvesting traps, which is awesome. And we also have gas extraction. So yeah, this is a really good planet. I'm so happy that we have it. <laughs> Yeah, pitiful nations living on borrowed time. The cult of Draco will fall. It is inevitable. Um, yeah, I mean, you're just idiots. We're just going to give him the same insult back. I, I don't want that. Can we have, like, a better one? Here at the cult of Cthulhu, we have a nose for money. And you, Cthulhu, reek of desperation. <laughs> yep. That's that's the thing. Like, you lost your whole fleet and you start bad-mouthing me again. Like, right away? You must have a death wish. These guys are just too stupid. They can only be slaves. That's the that's the only thing that they are good at. And that's what we're going to do with them. So we have like a 23 tile tundra world over here. Um, we have an alpine world, 24 tile. Um, so research that. I've been... Yeah, I've been thinking. I've been counting like uh, places and planets. So if we count this, we have 1, 2, 3, 4... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So if we add that empire size, we'll actually reach like a really big size even before we get to the point where I want to be. So even though I would love to get this this thing here and that 24 tile alpine world and all that kind of stuff i don't think it's worth it unless we maybe colonize this planet over here and make it into a subsidiary right away that could actually be something that we do just so that we don't control too much land like directly maybe that is something that we can do just make it into a vessel and give that vessel those systems that actually does sound like a good idea. Maybe we'll do that right away. Like, um, in the stream series, I definitely did uh, too much ex expansion. I kind of, I, I see these systems and I'm like, gotta grab it, gotta grab it. Nice resources, I need it, I gotta grab it. And then, uh, yeah, things go wrong. <laughs> uh, but I, I really, I, I feel like the play style for the, uh, for those mega corporations is the the ultimate tall playstyle. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I'm a huge fan of those tall playstyles. I did it with the Architects Foundation. I did it with uh, a bunch of things. And I really love tall playstyles. It's just, it's, it's my jam. What can I say? Tall playstyles, just being, being small, but being powerful, being smart. That, that's what I like. That's what I like. I like tall playstyles and I cannot lie. Okay, so let's put mining stations. One of the nice things about the change in the economy system is that you're never building empty stations again that you will lose later down the line. Like uh, in past versions, this guy world, um, the game would pick the highest value tile on it. You could build a station on it even if you were never going to settle the planet. But uh, once you settle the planet, you had that tile like on your planet, but you lost the the stuff that you invested into the station. So um, let's go to this. What we're gonna do is we'll like bump that up in terms of priority. That's good. We have like a small enemy force in there. Let's just merge all these guys. Now the question is, do we even have to? Build like a defense station in the Brostom system. I mean, long term maybe, but short term I don't think so. Hmm. Yep, 
Yeah, I think this is what we'll do. We'll like, we'll build a defensive station in the Hawkery system. Oh, we found the Thamble on civilization. Look at that. And we found the Hasoka Citizen Union. Slaving despots. I think we're gonna be friends. Well, you walk the path of heresy for now. So this is a primitive world. What the heck? Are you guys just invading those primitives? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay, they're superior and they're unfriendly, but we don't we don't care too much about it, I don't think. Okay, yeah. Hmm, they're already pushing in that direction, so I will probably have to grab that one and that one. Interesting, interesting. These guys are superior, so we are going to... I'm going to open our borders here as a gesture of good faith. And we also are going to give them, like, some minerals. Because I feel like we could actually work together. These guys are slaving despots. We could like they're they're not that far away from our from our heart. Uh, they they don't really want those minerals though. So, so I opening the opening the borders is probably fine. Um, offering tribute, they're already unfriendly. This might this might go wrong. This might go wrong. Um, but in this case, we. Uh, I mean, I see the fate of these guys just going going very wrong. Um, looks like they are being. Yeah, what are you guys doing exactly? No orders. And you're just following the Armada. Alright. And we found the Caravaneers. Greetings from the Vingralian Triumph. Certified Caravaneer traders of the Caravanserai Caravan Coalition. CCC. we business for ourselves, but not by ourselves. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> These guys are full of those management phrases. We will offer you an exclusive deal whenever we pass through your territory. Tempting as it may be, you don't have to accept right away. You can ask us to contact you again before we depart your space. And we will, but we be aware that incoming calls will be rerouted to Caravan Saray Caravan Coalition. So, cheers. We want. Um, please buy something. Anything. Just please. We offer a Triumph brand atmospheric deodorizer. Do your agri-world smell like fertilizer? Is your eco-monopolist more like a yuck? Ew, no please. Does your colony stink? We have the solution. Our patented blend of microbes and aerosol reagents will clear the air of any habitable troposphere. Just sit back, relax, deploy the strata drones and enjoy a breath of fresh air. All this for the low, low price of six months of society research. How do you do the things you do? We intend to find out. A one-time delivery to a single colony only. Anti-odor effects are guaranteed to last 80 years and no longer. Increases by 30% for the duration. So, Triumph Atmospheric Deodorizer brand name. And you think that's air you're breathing now? Slogan, copyright C, 2020, Bengalian Triumph. All rights reserved. Um, so, what we get a Trium atmospheric deodorizer. Six months of no society research. That actually sounds like a good deal. I just want to know what it does. Like, I have, I have no idea, but we gotta do it, right? I mean, that's what the series is for, so we'll, we'll try it. Deal? I mean, you have nothing to say, considering I just, you just made the deal of your lives? Okay, then. Negotiate with crime lords. Uh, okay, there it is. So, immigration pool. Wait. Immigration pool and pop growth from immigration. That does nothing for us. Okay, but at least we can, like, put it off. We can do it somewhere. And I think we'll just do it on our, like, our new, um, our new Gaia planet. That's probably nice, right? Yeah, this looks good. How's our population growth? Uh, growth encouraged. So we're already doing 45%, so that's good. Uh, 
I do want to reinforce the rest of our fleet. Uh, okay, well. Special project complete. Marvelous. We've been rivaled by these guys again. Construction complete. So our our treaty goes until 2228. Offering refunds betrays a lack of confidence in your products. We have full confidence in our products. Yeah, so what do you want? We offer you a contingent of Ingradian Triumph sales technicians. Stationed across the star bases of your empire, they will adjust upward. Jealous competitors would say artific artificially inflate the trade value of all systems. All of this for the low price of four specialist pops. We need some help with the bookkeeping. So... Contingent will live and work in your style bases, subsisting only on Triumph brand Nutri paste and have no effect on your demographics or economy beyond their influence on trade value. The assignment will last for 80 years and no longer. Increases trade value by 10% for the duration. So, what are we currently making on trade? No, wait, you wouldn't... I'm not gonna give away my pops. No, go away. Normally found. I'm not gonna give away four of my of my beautiful um, draconians. Are you mad? Are you mad? These guys are lunatics. They must be stark raving mad. That's just not gonna happen. Never. Okay, we have a new oracle. Negotiations for a new oracle. Don't 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 kick me out. But we don't have the influence to do anything here. Um, so it could be Rubicon. It could be Jake. Who's actually not doing anything right now? Could be Arnulf. Uh We'll just abstain, I'd say. Jake Hunter, our new archpriest. Uh, what are your what are your stats? Leader experience gain. I mean that's good. With 96% cohesion, we'll, we'll get there. We'll, we'll get there. 96% cohesion is not bad. Um, okay, the Acorius has no. Actually, if we take this system instead of that one, we'll kind of stop these guys from expanding a bit. We have an alien mural. Yeah, maybe it's not the best thing to do, to, to antagonize these guys. How are you looking? Oh, you haven't even found them. You haven't even found them. There's a superior. We'll find, we found them by like going through here. Um, I guess I can just set this thing to return. We'll just... Oh yeah, we actually have open open borders, so... I'll go and survey. Does this also mean I can like just take the Ophiatlus system and make a vast lot of them? These are primitives. We could just invade them. Like I have a, I have an invasion fleet here. Okay, what what uh, defense do these guys have? Eleven. Can only invade primitive planets inside your borders. It's probably pretty expensive to. Um, yeah, fifteen, fifteen points. And this would be cut off by the forward station. I think we should just conquer forward and and leave it. I think this is fine. No more land grabbing, but maybe these guys might just be converted, like corporate. So we need a thousand bucks. Well, that can be done, and then we'll like we'll like build a temple on the on the planet. That looks good. That is the way that we have to expand, I think, not not the other way around. That's just kind of for the crude normal empires. We had to we had to convert. Not we're not here to grab the land. We just want to all have them follow the the faith of the great old ones that's what we need construction complete okay that's looking good oh man this looks like a like a high value trade system if we if we build a station here we'll actually be able to funnel all that all that stuff back home system survey complete hmm construction complete Okay, the alloys in the system. Oh man, this does look like a good system. No, no, that's bad. System survey. Complete. You shall not grab more land. <laughs> I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to take more land. I just, no, bad. 
And I think I, what I think is the thing is that we're also like paying. Uh, I think we're, we're paying uh, empire size for all branch officers, so this is like especially bad. Build a mining station, build a research station. I mean, they can they can take all that stuff in any case. If we don't want it, why would we stop these guys from taking it? There's an alien mural in here. System survey complete. It has two rare features. It has an alien zoo. We have mastered a new technology. Oh, it has a noxious swamp. And an isolated valley, so we could like make a, a, a zoo out of this. Or put a zoo on there. Okay. I guess so. 17 city districts could be put on there. That's just crazy. Um, okay, we get our we get our research back. So slave processing facility, more slave output. And less slave political power. Sounds good. Leader cost minus twenty percent. I think we're Paying a lot here, so that would like give us five. Nah, I think we just want more food here at this point because having food is actually a good thing in my experience. Anomaly five. I mean, you're gonna say duh, but so how is how's this going? Okay, we're growing one of these 3.6. Yeah, we're growing more slaves. How's, how's that? Okay, we still have. Unemployed pops, two two unemployed draconians. Mm. I feel like we need more alloy foundries and also more research labs. Like, we, well, I feel like we're behind in research. Yeah, uh, I feel like we should probably build a lab. All the theaters. We're also losing. Like we're losing consumer goods though, so maybe dropping another civilian industries is is the way to go. Hmm. Oh no, wait, yeah, I know what I wanted to, to build. I wanted to build a gene clinic. Because we need more population, so that's that's what's gonna happen. There's an Arctic world in here. Man, I I want that one. I want that Arctic world. I have like one, two Arctic worlds in my reach, and we have that Gaia world, and an Alpine, and a tropical one, and a tundra one, but there's a savannah world. Let's just check what else we have. There's a savannah world in here. Yeah, I think that Arctic world should be mine, because that's like the ideal stuff for our people. Um, is that something that I can do? I'm lacking five influence, but it could be done. It will also... It will also stop these guys from expanding Anomaly further found. if I take that. So, let's research it. Construction complete. And until our truce is over, these guys won't be able to, uh, to do much. I think. Oh yeah, okay. They, they've already taken the planet. Like, yeah. Oh, they've already taken Lisek. Shattered world. Where's that? Among the debris we've discovered, the shattered remains of a formerly habitable planet. The patterns of fragmentation and charring on the shards suggest it was blasted with concentrated beams of thermal energy until it cracked from the pressure. This allowed for the mineral-rich core to spill out and solidify into clumps of high-quality minerals. Okay, that's in Dahlberg. Uh, on the other hand, maybe we'll just leave this for these guys. We can always conquer it later, I guess. And we have like a wealth of systems and planets and all that. I I gotta stay small. I gotta stay smaller. Gotta gotta keep it together. Keep it together. Don't grab that much stuff. It's not worth it. Don't do it. Mm. 
we're gonna send the science ship over here to see if we're like not missing anything and then here we'll just we'll just come down that arm I guess see maybe it's there maybe there's another Gaia planet or something I'm actually expecting some fallen empire to be in that direction over there but yeah let's go ahead and let's go ahead and colonize this planet um, it's a guy what has like a ton of space for generator districts uh, Uh, we're just gonna call this one Temple. Let's go out, colonize the place. It's a Gaia world. It's like awesome. And like in the past, this would have been small, but because uh, it's just 15 tiles, but it's still amazing. A doofus has a terraforming candidate here. Terraforming candidate. 22 tile Baron world. Where is it? Oh, in here! Okay, I mean, that's our two planet system. But we can always take that from them, even if they if they decide to take it. And it's probably not the worst idea to make them actually... Like, to, to pass to them a little bit. System survey complete. Let them grow too, so that I can build my branch offices there. Hmm. There's like 10 trade value in there. Oh, we found a matriarch. Evasive maneuvers initiated. That's a guy world in that direction. We have mastered a new technology. Like another of a Leviathan. Um found that that matriarch in there. We, we didn't did we lose this, our science ship? No, we just uh, have you in Delberg now. So let's survey that. Survey that. We, yeah, I don't think this outer thing is really worth it. I think we'll just grab the inner one. Oh yeah, we, what do we get here? Uh, the armor. What are we getting now? The alloy mega forges. It looks like we're gonna be getting some moats soonish. Mining stations plus ten. I think reducing the Calvette build cost is probably a good sound move here. Let's upgrade our ships. I'm not going to build up the fleet any bigger. I don't think. What if these guys return? They're equivalent already. So I can't go for subsidiary Anomaly status. Found. Research that. So we basically have to like take System more. We have to take more of their planets and their systems if we want to hurt them. I tell you what, we're just gonna go and make claims. So I claim Furud while it's cheap. Oh wait, wait, wait. Um, why is that? Why is that still so expensive? My claims. I should like. Why well, am I paying sixty for that rival? Twenty, twenty-five percent, but it 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 is more expensive. The capital is eighty. The Thandra is eighty. We could just do that, because then all the other stuff falls away. <laughs> you could just make these planets and just make like their their main planet into a vessel. It's possible for me to just eat them completely in six years. They're already equivalent. I'm not happy. We might also just get attacked by these guys. But I tell you what, I think I'm gonna make these claims. I'm saving 20 influence if I do this. We're getting a lot of influence too. Mm, no, I'm not gonna do it. State your intentions, parasite. Well. Am I a parasite? I don't know. I don't know. Well, you can ask your people on my on my planets, those slaves, if they're happy. They said they're happy. They said they are not even able to think about a life where they have to think for themselves. What do you have to say to that? I 
think we're still going to do some horrible snaking here. But 96%, it's almost to the point where we're just, like, fine, where we can just ignore it. I think what I'll do is maybe build another... Oh, we're already building our colony ship here. Oh, yeah, we still paused. Sorry. Sorry. So, shipyard. I'm going to build another construction ship. Could actually use one. System survey complete. They're probably going to settle Furud before anything else. Yay, automatic exploration. Shall we go blue lasers? Energy grid plus 15% energy credits from technicians. And we get a technician job. That's, we can build one per planet, but it looks, it looks like a really good building for us. I think we'll do that. I, I like it. Machinery inside. As suspected, the asteroid holds within it a great mass of metal and does indeed hide some manner of machinery. The gathered data clearly shows that its constituent parts contain great quantities of stored energy, but its purpose remains unknown. We're gonna proceed carefully here. We're not just gonna drill into it. Caution proved well in order. Yeah, I thought so. Hidden inside was a host of old mining drones programmed to attack on site. Our science officer fortunately detected this early and was able to jam the drone's sensors long enough to disable them. The drone's cores are old indeed, but retain vast amounts of energy for siphoning. Excellent. So that's 14S. It's in Ferrothon. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Uh... Like, if I don't take this area, it means that I... Our ships have been upgraded. Awesome. Okay. Our, our fleet is now at 800. These guys are still equivalent. I could also still just push for them to become a vessel just by complete. building ships. Building more and more ships. I think I will. We're just gonna knock that out. We should have a colony ship moving. Yep, yeah, there it is. Colony ship moving to our Gaia planet. Going to uh, going to colonize the temple. Temple. So we're gonna have temple in the temple system. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna end the episode here. We have like lots of things to do. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we I will try to increase the frequency of these episodes. I'm still a little bit. Uh, exhausted from that 24-hour event but I'll, I'll try to do my best uh, so yeah join me for the settling of our first colony we're gonna consider if we're actually gonna grab that cluster over here it kind of does make sense but it's probably not a huge priority considering that probably no one is going to be able to even get into that cluster so we'll, we'll see how it goes hope you join me next time bye bye